Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park, Toledo, located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota Highlander Limited. Now the most notable features on this Limited is its panoramic roof. You also have your heated and cooled front seats and your blind spot monitoring. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota Highlander Limited. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Limited is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps. Taking a closer look at the front bumper, as you can see, you do have your plug-in block heater along with your parking sensors and over on the side you have your 20-inch aluminum alloy wheels. You also have your integrated signal lamps as well as your foldable mirrors and heated mirrors. And then taking a look on the inside of the mirror, you're going to see your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with that indicator, it'll actually light up just alerting that there is another vehicle right beside you. You have the spark key system with this. So with the spark key system, you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. Push on once, it'll lock all the doors automatically. And then if you put your hand between the handle, it'll unlock the front door for you as well. Now if you hold it there a little bit longer, it'll actually open up the rear doors for you as well. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is red. Now taking a closer look at the front dash as well as the front seats, as you can see you have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver seat with lumbar support. Over on your left hand side you have your automatic headlights, trunk release and heated steering wheel. And then on the inside of the driver's side door you have your seat memory controls with your mirror controls, window locks, power locks and window controls. Now, a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your scroll function, Bluetooth volume control, voice recognition, lane departure alert, cruise control, mode select, and your seek function. Now, it does offer you the push button start, so all you have to do is uh, put, a, put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now, taking a look at the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different features on here, which include your digital clock, exterior temperature gauge, and if we scroll through the menu controls, as you can see, you have your fuel economy on here with the distance to empty and your digital speedometer. You can also go through and take a look at your driving support, audio, all-wheel drive control with your tire pressure monitoring and your safety system status. In your settings menu, you have your lane departure alert, pre-collision system, blind spot monitoring on and off, parking sensors on and off, rear cross traffic alert, and a couple of other additional features, and you'll finish with your messages menu. Now, taking a closer look at the center dash as well as the touch panel display, you'll see a couple of different features on here. So if you go inside your menu screen, you're gonna see your destination, audio phone, as well as a couple of other additional features. Now, inside the apps menu, this is part of the Antune app suite, so as long as you have it on your phone, you can use such apps as the Slacker app, which allows you to stream your music from your phone onto the touch panel display. You can also check on local fuel prices or the latest sports scores, just depending on what your preferences are. It is compatible with Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto, and you do have the premium JBL sound system with the Sirius XM satellite radio. Dual zone climate control settings with your heated and cooled front seat controls for your driver and passenger with three different settings, depending on how hot you would like it. Your rear temperature control is located in the right hand side there for the dual zone climate control and you also have your hazard lights and a little shelf where you can place smaller items or if you want you can just hook, uh, place your phone on top here, slink your cord through the bottom and hook it up to the USB or your power outlets located down below. Your passenger also has a little shelf there as well for smaller items and it's matted to a automatic transmission with your driving mode which include the sport normal and eco and then you have your mud sand rock and dirt feature with your traction control on and off snow mode downhill assist control and your all wheel or auto stop and start now taking a look at the top you have your auto dimming rear view mirror with the integrated garage door opener and your different controls that you'll find at the top here include the open and close as well as the open and close for the sunshade visor for the panoramic moonroof now you have the SOS Safety Connect, so in the event that you're in a collision and you're unable to respond, emergency services will be sent out to you right away just to make sure you're okay. And you have your sunglass case holder. And finally, taking a look at the backup camera, as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you back into a stall. Now, you can also change up the backup camera view to a more dynamic view or the traditional backup camera view you're used to. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on your rear bumper. You're going to see your parking sensors just located right across. On the back of the tailgate, you have your backup camera just on your left hand side and your rear hatch release located underneath your Toyota emblem. Push on the button once and it will open up for you automatically and then if you close in on the rear cargo space, you do have the cargo cover in the back which is nice. 
because you can cover up your valuables just while you're going from place to place. You have a 60-40 split for your second row, so in the event that you do need additional cargo room, you can fold the seat down. For your third row, it's a 60-40 split as well, so if you need more additional passengers, you have that option available to you as well. If we take a look underneath the floor, you're going to find some under the floor storage space with your jack and tool kit. And this is also where you'll access your spare tire, which is located underneath your rear bumper. The other nice thing is that you do have a power adjustable tailgate, so all you have to do is push on the button once on the back of the tailgate, hold it down there for approximately two seconds the height you'd like it at, it'll beep a couple of times, then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this height. However, if you want to reset the height for yourself, hold down the button for more than four seconds, it'll beep several times, and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this maximum height. A couple of the uses for that power tailgate is if you're a little bit shorter or if your garage is a little bit lower, you can prevent the back of your tailgate from being damaged. Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455, or please visit our website at sbtoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comments section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.